simple à tout le monde. I think this is actually better than the holes up there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Shred it. This year, I want to try harder climbs. Perhaps trying a V11 right away was a bit ambitious, but I guess that I won't ever climb one unless I try. This, however, was my birthday day out, so I wanted to try something special. The Joker is a one-move V11 established by Jerry Moffat in 1996. I'd say it's one of the most popular climbs of the grade due to its location and also because of its singularity. You don't get to see many one-move V11s out there. After warming up thoroughly in an Adamondra style and climbing some easy blocks around the area, we went to have a sneak peek of the holds. These are little, sloping down and really sh**. I knew this already as I had felt them in the past, but this was the first time ever I was actually intending to have a session on the problem. Conditions were good, psych was high and we were determined to try our best. No surprise in here, we obviously didn't expect to be able to pull from those holes at first, so hanging briefly was definitely a start. There are two methods for this problem. One of them is the campus way, which we had just tried, and the other one is using your left foot. This however proved to be more challenging than I had expected. It looks like someone needs to urgently start doing some stretching. John managed to pull this out of the bag on his third attempt, which definitely looked really promising. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, I swung in and I was like, oh my god, I'm still here. Yeah. And then I pulled. Do you think you... Me on the other side, I got stuck at the start. I couldn't get past the idea of actually pulling from the start holes as I felt I was going to dry fire and land my back on the starting block. After a few attempts I step aside for a while as the problem was feeling far off and I let John took over as he seemed to be getting really close. Despite it being a barely one move problem, it was really surprising to find out how delicate it is at the same time, as you have to place your hands at a very particular spot so that your fingertips can sit on a few little crystals. It turned out to be a micro beta block in all its glory. From all the times I tried the block, I only really managed to pull on around three times. Though the move isn't as big as I thought, it still felt miles away. John however got annoyingly close so many times, so I think it will only be a matter of time for him. I think we will be back on it at some point before the grid season finishes. As we didn't want to get stuck on one single block the whole day, after an hour or so we moved on to the business boulder area where we got to try Sibis Traverse. Zippy's Traverse is one of the first 7Bs or V8s I ever managed to take. It was nice to be able to repeat it with ease this time and feel the improvement I've been through over the last two years. After doing Zippies, I tried a new extension called Jason's Copout, which is a 7B plus block that links Zippies Traverse into Jerry's finish. 
a 1 move 6 c or v5 block. I'd say it's a rather power endurance block as it doesn't have a particular cracks but a series of steady moves throughout the start to the finish. I dropped the last move 5 times which almost made me have a nervous breakdown but hey at least it was good training. I'm sure this one will go quick next time I come to Stanage. Hello darkness my old friend. Moving on, my friend Ben put up a new first ascent, or at least that's what we believe as we couldn't see anything in the guide or online. Here is Ben's stinky crack, a V2 slash V8 crack climb. To finish off, we went to the Grand Hotel area to try a bit of a nemesis of mine, not to be taken away. A 6C or V5 block that has the dirtiest of the smears at the start and then some gentle but airy moves. I tried it last year and I couldn't manage to start it, which was a humbling experience that didn't speak highly of my footwork. The block however is such a beautiful piece of rock, so despite my fear of not being able to start it, I knew I had to try it again. Yes. Yeah. Yeah! There isn't a better way to finish off a climbing day but climbing in golden hour. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog guys. If you want to support my channel, please like, comment and subscribe.